Why is he sad? You know, everyone's a little bit weird on their birthday. Everybody's getting so sad. <laughs> He's getting old, man. He's like, whoa, I was just a kid. He looks freaking depressed. This video has actually been sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is your one stop shop to build your website and run your business. We'll talk more about Squarespace in a bit. I'm at the home improvement age. You know what I'm saying? Me and baby girl. So I guess it's been way too manly at the crib for way too long. And when I say manly, I mean no soul, no heart, no design, straight living. A dorm room. I like some soul in my crib. I like I like design. I like looking at shit. You know what I mean? Feng shui. All that. I like watching a lot of home improvement too. From a very young age, I was all over the extreme makeover home edition shit. I used to catch that shit every Sunday. The guy had homework and I'm just screaming, move that bus. <laughs> It's not my calling. My calling is to call other people for that shit. But I don't know where to start. And that's where Symphony comes in. So we've been hitting a lot of, you know what I mean, stores and shit, furniture stores. She goes off. She looks at plates and bowls, touching stuff, flipping tags. It's been going pretty good. Mm -hmm. We copped a table. First of all, we got a table. Ordered it in May. Finally came in September, but whatever. It's rat bastard. Um, that is unacceptable. I'm done with the waiting for furniture for five months thing. My couch almost took a year. This table. Half a year. I get the supply chain issues and shit. Tell me you don't have it. Not in stock. We buy the table. They're like, all right, I'll make it. You, you didn't, didn't say that. that. I got Scratched. These. Scratched. By West the way. Elm. No. Who? Crate and Barrel. Crate and Barrel. Fine. So these are plates for the plates. These are plates for the plates. I don't know. I see, I don't know nothing about that. Like not your typical champagne glass. So pretty, love these. And they were on sale. Ladies. Or I guess I could put it down there too. That was good. Oh, to have Justin and Josh. Savant Blanc. What the hell does that mean? Um. The spirit of home improvement has hit me too. That's not pee. I'm in my little space. I'm in my office reconsidering things. That's not pee. Maybe I don't gotta keep living like a soldier, getting ready off the ground and shit. Maybe get a dresser. So I go to Ikea. I came back with a plant. I, I, didn't, I didn't get that shit, but you know what I mean? We're, we're taking baby steps. I, I bought a plant. And that's when I realized I've only made it to a small ledge on the mountain, Mount Home Improvement. I was just at the base of my next climb, the DIY project. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen, and today we're getting started on huge ikea hack transformation we are transforming my old ikea kaylin's unit into a beautiful removed sideboard for this front entryway you know what i'm saying i ain't no bitch <laughs> diy wise i'm down to try stuff this just looks like a project that would take a lot of effort and could be easily messed up i'm kind of worried i'm about to spend 15 hours on some shit boop, 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 build it up put it up step back Oh, it's hideous. You know what I mean? That's why I'm hesitant. But one, I, I checked everywhere for these consoles and entertainment wall unit joints. They're all $1,000. They cost thousands of dollars. So Two, this white girl made it look so goddamn easy. And three, Symphony already bought all the pieces and supplies and shit, so. So I just moved the unit out to the garage. Almost done. You know what I'm saying? There's a few obstacles. There's paint on my camera. You know, that wasn't me. Boom, boom. We do a little door paint. Doors painted. Through the doors in. Jermaine just got done finished putting the doors on the front. Okay. Cut all the wooden slats into equal pieces. I'm using a goddamn Lego baby saw. I'm raising the bar for you, niggas, man. We laid the first few slats down and it's looking pretty. It's looking good. You might not. I'm making jokes and shit. I'm feeling good. I'm gassed up. You just gotta step it, you off, gotta step it all the way up. No idea of the realization I was to have five seconds later. Oh my god. What? We're not gonna have enough. This woman lied to us. No way. How did that happen? I picked up 20 of these half round molding pieces from the hardware store. She gave us all the measurements, all the uh, quantities. She said 20 sticks, cut 27 inches. We'll give you enough to fill the whole front. That's not true. Um, I'm just gonna have to. Oh. I was acting like I didn't care about, you know, this little DIY project. This is when I realized I was actually pretty damn passionate, passionate about this shit. I wanted to cry out of frustration. I just wanted to finish it, stand it up and maybe catch a flick on it same night like i said symphony ordered all the stuff months back she couldn't get these wooden sticks in person so she had to order it and it shit took a month we try to hit lows again the guy literally said what the fuck is that okay 
We're waiting around for a month for three pieces of wood. You're too loud. Man, what the hell going on? Oh all shit, good. what? Huh? What's all this, man? DIY. Actually, yeah, check it out, man. I'm not doing nothing, man. Check me out, man. Ran out of bars. DIY girl lied and shit. Oh, you glued this? Hey, you know the show. Oh, shelf. you painted this. You had the door. Nice. Somebody has to explain why my dog was batshit crazy whenever somebody comes over. Two we mess. I don't know why he does this shit. Are other dogs doing this? He goes berserk and barks fully erect. It's too much. Somebody has to. It drives me crazy. I don't even want people to come over no more. This shit makes me go to them. Yo, I'm a swing by. I'm a swing by, nigga. Uh, he does hey. mom too. Ah, ah, ah. Turn it off. Nah, this is, I literally thought you put it together. Nah, hell no, nah, man. It's from scratch, man. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, it's gonna be pretty big. Careful with that shit. <laughs> you seen condenser prices? All right, shut up. I'll shut up. I thought it was uh, some brand new store. I would never expect this to be the thing I was always there. Damn, so you hear that shit? Where is he? You see, the thing about Trevon right here is. He knows I'm not out here doing DIY projects left and right. He knows I dropped at least eight hours on this piece so far. He knows, he knows I know those fucking doors on me. Doors even? I take that as disrespect. You don't speak out and, and put, put the spotlight, spotlight on the defaults, man. Doors even? You leave that shit. Nigga. You save it for a text. Doors even? Yeah, they're uneven. And I couldn't do anything. And it's burning me. Doors even? That is. That's much, okay? Evenly. <laughs> no, the imperfections. We're talking about embracing so, imperfections. Why are we sobbing? But we're gonna put like something right here, maybe, to like just cover cover that space. I had to just move on with life and forget about this DIY project. Take it off my mind a bit, so I went about my normal life, chilling and shit, drinking shady espresso martinis, waiting for Symphony to get ready for a barbecue. But how does a domino break on a plastic table? Who did that shit? I'll tell you who did it. <laughs> deuce, deuce, <laughs> deuce. There's another deuce. This is deuce. There's a deuce right now. It was a powerful move, honestly. They're looking at architecture and shit, man. I waited for Symphony to get ready to go to the movies. Checked out Don't Worry, Darling. It was a Black Mirror episode. The popcorn was beaten that night. On top of the disrespect, Trevon keeps coming over and getting free shit from Symphony that could have went to me. What the hell is this? It's a, I gotta clean it. He's getting all this shit, man. What the hell? Man, stay out my shit. Trevon. She doesn't give it to me and she gets. Use all my stuff. Well, we ain't got to talk about that right here. These are, this, is, this could be my stuff. Half the time, I don't even see the products before she gives it to him. I'm like, I didn't even get a chance to say I'm interested in this. I'm keeping this foam cleanser, man. I watch this go down all week, every day. Oh, package at the door. Is it for me? No. Anything coming for me? No. Okay. She began 40 boxes in one box sometime. Damn, they sent you this? Yeah, and it smells so good. You're always getting the good stuff. I like fragrances. More free shit. What you get now? Some more fake nails. But look at this one. I like this one. This one's cool. This is if I like really am like in dire need of something. Damn, you be getting stuff. Next day. What you get now? Wow. Oh my God, you always getting cool shit. Wow. I posted them literally like two weeks ago. More body wash. Damn, let me get that. For me. The following day. This is the uh, last one. I even managed to put the DIY disrespect behind me to uh, collab with Trevon. On host of my man Sheldon Sebastian's MC72 mixtape. Right click that and see if you can copy those. Oh wait, no wait, go back. Right click again. Put the actual file of whatever this one is. Wait, click, oh that doesn't, wait, click that file. So click, um... Turn, turn off, turn off work. Oh. Sloppy delay, what is that man? Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, that's a warp BPM. That's it. Oh, yeah. This is one fucking button. Yeah, that's it. That shit was fun. It felt good to put the disrespect behind us. Like Mike! Shout out my man Morris. I feel yeah, 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 no. yeah. yeah. God, God. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> respect. Did you put respect on his wrist? Respect. <laughs> that's the fun, too. <laughs> Watching the podcast, like, oh, f damn, I gotta cross that out. Cross it, bro. There's so many parts where I just had to mute other people because I'm like, bro, I didn't know you said that. Okay. Y'all, trust me, you find some gems. If all of us are talking at the same time and we can't separate it, who said the funniest shit? Sheldon said some <laughs> shit that I'm like, yo, when did you say this? Hold on. It was just a, it's just the small fucking lines, man, that just get you out here. I caught up on shows I'm not even watching. House of Dragons, too many torches and shit, all that 
old stuff. Big Brother. I'm not 100% sure with how the show works, but for sure, most of the time I walk by the TV is people sleeping and scratching their noses and shit. I don't know what's going on. These girls don't like the black girl? Yeah. Racism. Things happen very quickly. Exactly. I did not expect that. Why are they in baby beds? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, you know, I spent a lot of time in my office waiting on these three damn sticks. My little space, man. I got my new plant. I got my little speaker. A little f***ing pineapple candle. Smells fruity fresh in here all day, all night. This is where I vibe out. This is where I edit. This is where I think of new ideas. I even hit push-ups in this shit sometimes, man. This is also where I get interrupted a whole lot. Now it's raining. It's pouring. You want me to get chocolate coated almonds? Who cares about words? I'm supposed to get a head on the street. I exactly. know, <laughs> Chloe. Everyone's on the streets. <laughs> I also had a little bee story this month, man. My office plant inspired me to go out and get more plants. This is my little desk plant, Matt Damon. So we got this plant on a little plant pickup one day. I named her Martha Stewart. Took her home, we're looking good. Welcome home, Martha Stewart. That was the second time me saying that ever in my life. I go to bed, I wake up a couple times. This is all these bumps, bumps, bumps. Baby, baby, bumps. What kind of shit? The Xbox. It's all these bumps on this plant. Martha Stewart. I don't know what these bumps are. I don't do bumps. I'm freaking out. I'm grossed out. I reach out to the youth. I make a TikTok, man. Uh, I'm going to need to help all my vegetarians and plant experts, man. What is this shit? It's on my, what is this, a white bird of paradise plant? This shit's freaking me out. Sorry, but I think you have scale. Because of their hard shells, they are hard to get rid of. But I do believe you can either remove them manually or with systemic insecticide. I had water in a straw. I'm not gonna lie, today's not <laughs> it's not looking too good for Martha Stewart, man. She's uh she's in critical condition, I'd say. She got the hand curled up like a croissant. Some more of these nips came in. It's like infesting it, it's all over the place. One of the leaves look almost completely like a chocolate leaf. You know, I, I sense that the end was near for this plant, so you know what I mean I had to pour one out for him. On the other hand, Oprah Winfrey's looking pretty good. Rich green, she's branching out. We also got the indoor plant. Yeah, Martha Stewart about dead. Montel doing good. So you ever heard Montel Williams? Oh, yeah. I checked my boy Abe Nevin real quick. Streets don't fail me now. Caving in, I felt my chest closing. I made a mess. Down hybrid whistling. Yes, sir. Why is your whistle like that? Yeah, UFO nigga hybrid nigga. Ooh. We in battery mode. We in battery mode. Do I think for the earth. So you switch modes? Hell yeah. We're nigga. hovering right now? Hell yeah. We're floating right here touching the road. So I was doing that and I started uh, at the end of 117. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go grab some lunch. I'm in that all black thing, the big body with a little square body on the toaster strudel with it. Yes, sir. He's a creative guy, always in good spirits. <laughs> Mr. Nevin. Nevin Abel. <laughs> what it do, baby? What's, What's up, man? On, guys? Shit, man. Straight chilling. Bro, what is it called? Like when you like a uh, swamp ass? Right? I, guess. Yeah, I feel like oh, wow. this is like swamp ass when like. Yeah, I'm dry right now, man. But today's pretty chill. Yeah, I was to say. <laughs> yeah, today's pretty chill. I don't. Chill, I'm man. from California. I don't know. And he's a super nerd about TV and films. And while we're in the headspace of thinking about TV and film ourselves, I figure we spend an afternoon eating delicious meats and talking about Quentin Quarantino and shit. Oh my God, man! Oh, I love everything. It's too scripted. These goddamn chicken bows. They would do that. Finish it. Like Mario World type shit. Never looking back. I never look back. <laughs> All down. <laughs> I just looked down and it was fun. Pull Kassan out of my jacket. I was calculating. <laughs> you plan that tonight? Oh, hell yeah, man. Yeah. The time finally came. The rest of the wooden slats came in. I can't even lie, I didn't record it. I didn't record it. Maybe I was getting in my head and shit, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It, it wasn't, wasn't looking, looking the way I needed to. So Shorty was using the nail gun with the little tiny heads, if not no heads, on the nails. So she bop shoots the nail in, and then it's hiding in the wood. You lay down the little liquid wood, sand him down, and you're looking smooth. I'm like, ah, I'm not in the mood to. I've, I've never used a nail gun. gun. I never set up a nail gun. I never, you know what I mean? It's 8 p.m. I'm at Lowe's. It's not time for that shit. So I went with the manual hammer and nails. And my thinking was, boom, I'm I'm going I'm to beat him down to get it as deep into the wood as possible. And then, you know, maybe we add a little, a little baby hill of uh, liquid wood, sand him down, slight lump. And if anything, it's just going to look like slight imperfections. 
I'm not gonna lie, I was looking mad lumpy. I just I just wasn't in the mood to record this and show it off. I thought it was I thought that would be me recording a project gone wrong. So I just stayed in there, sanded it down. This is what we're working with, man. It's pre it's pretty nice. Came out pretty pee. The little lumps I was talking about is giving the bamboo vibe now, and that works for me. I could tell myself that and feel good about myself. I've been sleeping very well. It opens smooth. A little entertainment slash electricity cubby. Put this in pier one. And tell me they're not gonna stick a damn five thousand dollar price tag on this shit. At least three. If I fix this shit up, three five. At least three five. And I'm willing to let this fly for three five if you got that shit. I'll also take five thousand dollars. You just gotta give me time to hit lows and get the proper size screws. You have an online business you want to run. Squarespace has the tools for that kind of stuff. Stand out in any inbox with top of the line, pristine, gorgeous, inviting emails to your customers. Get a better understanding of the traffic flowing to your website. Find out what's working, what's not working. Why are there so many Australians coming to my website? To get you started, slide over to squarespace.com for a free trial. Once you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash 4YE to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Nice. But it's these fine imperfections that make a DIY project a DIY project. Years later, I'm going to show my seed. So look, man, you, me, and your mom, we did this back in the 80s, man. We built this shit with our hands. You can see the little lumps and shit. It's ugly. Hey. Hey. You getting real disrespectful right now.